Welcome once again to Chasing the Dragon, a show that aims to satisfy your Yakuza fix while we wait for the next release. Sure, we're in the middle of what I'd lovingly dubbed the Japocalypse, since every publisher decided the start of 2017 was a great release date for every awesome Japanese game. After spending roughly 60 hours totally absorbed in this world, and maybe a bit more than I should have been, I want to make sure you guys don't miss this in the shuffle. It's a semi-open world action RPG with a ton of side quests, an amazing cast, and one of the best stories this generation. Nier Automata. And yes, I'm going to continue with this pronunciation since that's how the director says it and I'm too stubborn to change. Nier Automata was released March 2017 to an extremely positive critical reception. Directed and written by lovable weirdo Yoko Taro, Nier tells the story of the human-like androids and alien-created machine lifeforms as they battle for domination of the Earth. Set more than 11,000 years in the future, aliens attack and the remnants of mankind were forced to flee to the moon. Meanwhile, the war for Earth continues. I know it sounds a little out there, but bear with me. Nier's setup can sound a little daunting, especially since it's a sequel to a stage show that was a sequel to a drama CD that was a sequel to a game released in 2005 that itself was already a sequel to a secret joke ending of a PS2 game. Forget all that though, because Nier's strength lies in its own transhumanist story of what it means to be alive, combined with amazing characters and tragic misunderstandings. Actually, this sounds like another game I know. A true action brawler with a mix of bullet hell, Platinum Games was brought to task creating an amazingly sophisticated character action agent. One that allows you to string together big combos while never breaking the fluid flow of the game. The controls are tight and pulling off big moves is easy and thanks to the chip upgrade system, character customization is next level. From the high speed action brawling to the weird fishing minigame, Nier's semi open world is packed with memorable characters and locations, not to mention the breathtaking music. Nier already stands out as one of the most well thought out and weirdly interesting games of the year. Where the game really shines though, is the tone. While Yakuza likes to keep things light and jumping between the serious and silly, Nier plays it sombre, with every story beat and sub story giving you an emotional gut punch. Take for example Yakuza sub story structure helping someone achieve their own inner victories ending on a happy note that will make you smile. Nier goes the complete other direction, ripping out your heart and stomping on it as you usually make things go from bad to worse in the most spectacularly unsettling way. This is where I want to focus. Yakuza is great at giving you those warm moments through story and character development in a way that is fairly unique. One moment you're hearing about a guy that stole a video game from a kid and next you're reuniting a father with his son and you get to enjoy the tender moment. In the time I spent with Nier, I realized I was having that same feeling for every character I encountered. Not the warm fuzzies, but genuinely caring for them. Sure, it can be heart-wrenching, but that's where it succeeds. Every character, every NPC and substory has an amazing and tragic tale to tell. They're all engaging, and not one of them is off-tone. Even the ones you would expect to be silly have something important to say. Yakuza shines because of its world and characters. And I've got to say, Nier Automata has that same charm of a team that truly cared for the world and the game they created. If you're on the fence about this one, or haven't really looked into it, I urge you to check it out. Now that's typically where I'd end this, but I want to make one thing clear before I wrap this up. The more time you sink into the world and the characters of Nier Automata, the bigger the payoff at the end. If you grab Nier, make sure to play through to ending E. It's one of the most important endings to a video game I've ever seen, and those that experience it are in for something truly wonderful.